This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 369 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is sponsored by Kentucky Performance Products. Visit them at kppusa.com. Hi, everyone. Glenn Geek back with you from Lexington, Kentucky, almost to the end of 2010. Unbelievable. I remember at the beginning of this year looking so forward to the World Equestrian Games, and they seem to have come and gone so quickly. Well, we are uh, here today with Megan A. Roll. Megan is one of our leading authorities on animal massage in the country. She's our massage guru that teaches you how to massage your horses properly. And she wrote The Horse Lover's Guide to Massage, and she also wrote the book The Dog Lover's Guide to Massage. And she's a licensed massage practitioner for animals and people and a professional educator with a master in teaching degree from Seattle University. We're always, it's always fun to have her on to learn little tips on how to make your horse feel better. And we're going to be back with Megan's tip right after this word from Kentucky Performance Products. Happy holidays to all the listeners of the Horse Radio Network from your friends at Kentucky Performance Products. Kentucky Performance Products cares about the health of your horses and knows you do too. May you and your horses and ponies have a very happy and healthy holiday season and a fun equine-filled new year. From all of us at Kentucky Performance Products at kppusa.com. Happy holidays, everybody. Well, hi, Megan, and welcome back to Horse Tip Daily. Hi, Glenn. You know, this time I'm going to catch you off your game because I'm, I'm going to, I had a listener email that wrote to me, and I can't find it right now, and I've been looking for it, but I know what, what she said, and I apologize for not using your name. Uh, but they wrote to us, and they, they asked, we get all these questions like, like, like I actually know. But I, the nice part is we know people who do know. So that's why I'm asking you and catching you off guard, and I, I hope you don't divorce me after this. Um, so she asked, she had been approached about doing laser massage therapy. Uh, that's how she referred to it on her horse. And I've seen that done once or twice before. And basically what she wanted to know is it, is it real? Is it quackery? Does it work? You know, that kind of thing. So I wanted to get your opinion on that. Yeah, I don't have a lot of experience with it, but I do think it's very real. And, um, I can tell you a few things about it. Um, the laser is it's sometimes a cold laser, sometimes um, a red light, or there probably are people using different colored lights. But um, not all light is created equal. They each have their specific frequencies, and um, I don't know what else can vary between them, but at least the frequencies um, can vary. So different tools might be... Um, you know, getting different effects or having different claims depending on what frequency range they are in. I know I have read um, some summaries of some research um, experiments, I think with people actually, um, where they can measure responses in the cells from light and from different light frequencies. And one response I remember reading about was actually um, an endorphin release triggered triggered by the the light. Okay. And uh, different frequencies, I think, go. Um, I'm also remembering something about the different frequencies will have um, the effects of the light will go into different depths. So some of them go into the body, you know, much deeper than just at the surface, or or at least a little bit deeper than just at the surface. Um, so I haven't really heard specifically of laser massage, but what I have heard of a lot and experienced some myself is um, laser acupressure. So using using the light um, from one tool or another on acupressure points. And the uh, one I saw, Megan, mm-hmm. when I saw it done, and I don't know much about it either, uh, he had this pack, you know, on his side. And then it had like a wand, and he was pressing it into the horses all over the horse. Mm-hmm. You know, okay, the, so like, he was massaging. I think it was, but it almost sounds more like acupressure because he would hold it there. 
Yeah. Uh, and, and it looked like a wand, and, you know, it looked like a little, it was about the size of a cigar, maybe. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. And he was holding it at dirt, certain spots in the back and the butt and, you know, on the chest, right. that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, and even the acupressure spots aren't always an exact science. Like in acu- acupuncture or in traditional Chinese medicine, they'll have, um, you know, the, the, um, points identified with certain, you know, what meridian they belong to or what number, but then they'll also um, refer basically to any um, point that's sort of active or painful or just very responsive. They'll, I forget the name that they, I forget the name that they use, but, but basically any point can be an acupuncture point or an acupressure point um, for an individual animal, even if it's not one of the recognized ones mapped out with the meridian system. Well, I know that so, the horse yeah. I saw it done on was uh, about ready just to fall over. It was so happy. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, that might relate to that endorphin release. Yeah, it was <laughs> just good, the, the very happy drug. horse. Yeah, uh, made yeah. me want to try it. <laughs> so. Yeah, I know uh, BioScan is one tool that uh, a couple people I know use that a lot with a lot of good results. Um, is that something you've ever wanted to try or get into? Oh yeah, it's yeah. very interesting to me. I just I just haven't made the time for it yet. But I have I do have one red light um, torch. He calls it. It's a, a McLaren torch, and I did take a class a few years ago, actually about six years ago now maybe. Um, and so I have that, and I just never seem to make enough time to play around with it and see. I mostly just still and totally enthralled with using my hands and finding out what can happen with just my hands. <laughs> cool. Well, and of course, you, you've you been busy doing all kinds of videos and things that people can find on your website. Uh, and uh, by the way, I thank you for letting me put you on the spot there. Um, oh, yeah, I no, really fun did, to talk about that. I didn't really know what your answer was going to be. And, and uh, for our listener out there, I hope that helps. And maybe give it a try, you know. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. at, so it, at this point, it doesn't sound like it can hurt too much. So no. give, give it a try. Mm-hmm. See see how it goes. If you if you don't like it or your horse doesn't like it, you'll know soon enough. Mm-hmm. All right, great. And, of course, they can find out more about you at allaboutanimalmassage.com. You have all kinds of things on there. But the thing that I think will lead you to everything you want to know about massage is your newsletter. Um, yeah, well, it's not a newsletter at this stage. It's more of a series of emails. Yes. Well, that, uh, I'm so, sorry. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. But if they sign up for that, they'll get, um, it's kind of like a newsletter spread out into, um, getting a two or three emails a week or yeah, a couple emails a week, basically that each gives them something new. All right. Sounds good. And that's at allaboutanimalmassage.com. Well, thanks to Megan for joining us again here and talking about laser therapy today. We really appreciate that. And we'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. And I think tomorrow, judging by my calendar, will be New Year's Eve day. So we're looking forward to talking to you then. Have a great one, everybody. Be safe. Ride with your helmet on. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. 